Hello guys and welcome to DTWG The Prep Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through graphing equations, very important part of the GED maths and usually get students confused. Okay, so I'm going to um, take like two parts. So this is the first part I'm just introducing. Um, I'm going to introduce this with these three questions. Then the third parts are more of technical questions. You know, there are different angles in which the G, um, the GED test um, examiners okay, would set graphing equations questions. So I'm going to deal with that part in the part two of this same video. Don't worry. Um, I have curated everything on our website. Okay, you will see the link in the video description box of this video. It's a free GED math course on algebra. And if you have, you know, the GED, the GED is over like 50% of the GED is algebra. So if you're having problems with algebra, please do just take that course. All you need to do is just register with your email and it's free. Everything curated. I'm still uploading worksheets uh, for each topic. So when you watch a video, you have worksheets that you can download freely. Okay. So you'll get everything on our website here. All right, that's dtwgdprep.com, but I'm still going to leave a direct link to the course. Okay, so um, also don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. Please help me um, let this um, channel grow. And um, also on the on the website, you are going to get free summary notes, study guides, practice questions, all for free there. You can also join our Facebook group. We're over to 3,000 members. Facebook group by DTWG the Prep there to support you in whichever, um, you know, I see uh, the list. I think I saw a question recently about the Arizona and the civic test. Okay, so in whichever state you are in the U.S. and you want to know more about the GED, just, you know, drop your question. There are a lot of people that would support you. So all links are in the video description box of this video. Also, if you love uh, me to tutor you one-on-one, -on -one, you can also contact me. I'll leave my email in the video description box of this video. Okay, so now, now getting on to this video. So um, graphing equations, what kind of equations do we graph is a linear equation. In the GED is linear equation, not quadratic equation. That we don't graph um, the quadratic graphing a quadratic equation is not part of the GED syllabus, okay? But linear equation is all right. And the linear um, equation has two variables x and y. You can see a question like this, okay? And um, the solutions to this to the equations to the equation. After we get the points, we plot them on the coordinate grid, uh, on the coordinate grid, and you know that line shows us the solution to the linear equation. Okay, so to pinpoint any specific lo location on this line, you can select the value for x, and by solving the equation, determine the corresponding value for y, which is what we are going to do. And to get an accurate line, you need two points, two coordinate um, ordered other pairs, okay? I have done a previous video, which is the coordinate plane, which I explained in detail with several examples. Please do watch that video before you come here. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Please do watch that video before you come here. If you don't really know how to locate points on your coordinate grid, all this is a coordinate grid, grid okay? If you don't know how to locate points, um, um, your other pair, please do watch that video before this. Okay, it's also curated on that course, easy for you to assess. All right, so uh, you need to have two other pair location points to get a, the solution of the equation given. So let's say, for example, you're told to graph the equation. You know, in the GED test, it, the way you see this question is um, the solution, they, they're going to ask the solution of this equation is. Now, in the option A, you see a particular graph with a line. You see in option, option, option B, you see a graph with a line. C, you see another graph and all that. And uh, D, you would also see maybe the graph will go uh, straight upward, uh, something like this. Okay. So, this is the way the format you would get the question. You have options, but you need to know how to solve it first. All right. So, which is what we are going to do now. Now, to solve this, 
always make sure your y stands alone on your left hand side of the equation so this is already arranged for us all right so as we have said we need two locations two points okay so the first thing is always that easy to do is just make x all right you can make x anything you can say let x be equal to zero i always like zero start with zero you know just make things easy for yourself okay let x be zero when you let x zero in this equation i have done evaluating um uh, algebraic expression so when you are saying let x equal to zero it means wherever x is in this equation make it zero so we have y is equal to negative 2 in parentheses x here will become 0 plus 5 and what is negative 2 times 0 that will give us 0 then plus 5 then finally our y is equal to 5 all right so we have gotten our first point as if x is 0 y is 5 so our coordinate for uh, other pair or coordinate point is x 0 y 5 okay can you see that x 0 y 5 now this is just one point as we said we need to have what two different points for our solutions to be accurately sketched okay so now you can pick any point again you can say let x be one you can say let x be two you can say let x be three you can say let x be four okay let's say we choose uh we choose x as four so we say let x equal to four okay don't use another don't use the same point twice use a different point okay it's going to help you know let your line be a bit you know um extended okay so let x equal to four in this equation so we have y is equal to negative two where x is you put four plus five okay so here negative two times four that's a negative eight plus five and what's the negative eight plus five that's a negative three okay remember assign rules when you have a negative and positive number you subtract you get three and the sign three will take is the sign of the bigger number so here x is four and y is negative three now we can now plot so our first point is x is zero y is five so this is our first point please if you don't understand what I just did, please watch that previous video after this. That's the coordinate plane. Okay. Now, our next point is x is 4. This is x at 4. Y at negative 3. So, we trace down, trace down. So, it meets here. So, this is our second point. Now, we can now plot our line. Okay. So, these two uh, points, you draw a line that will touch these two Point and that is the oh sorry hold on let me do this again let me let me start okay sorry it's not that perfect but the the lines should touch each other the points okay so this is the solution of our equation here our linear equation okay and you notice that when you pick any point, let x as uh, one or, or whichever, you would find that the solution, when you pick any point, let's say let x equal to one, when you solve, get the value for your y, you will find that the solution will rest on this line. The points will be on this line. Okay? So that's how you graph the equation, the linear equation. All right, so let's go to our next one. Let me quickly erase everything here. Our next question is this. It says 3 equal to 4x minus y. As I said, let y always stand alone on your left-hand side. So I'm going to take this y here. The sign of y here is negative. Please always know that the sign of a number or a term in maths is the sign in front of it. Like the sign of 4x here isn't negative. No. It is positive the sign there's an invisible positive here okay so the sign of y here is negative so i'm going to take this negative over to this side it's going to change to a positive okay if you have uh if you don't understand this i think you need to watch the video on one step equations and two step equations okay i have explained this in detail all right so we take this here 
it becomes a positive. So we have a positive y, okay, and we take this three here, all right, and this becomes a negative because here this is a positive three. Crossing it over this equation sign, it becomes what a negative. So we have we leave here four x. We're not moving this guy here, and come this positive three coming here becomes a negative three. Okay, so from here now we can now select our point. We can say let x always start with zero is easy. Let x be zero. So we have y is equal to four in parentheses zero minus three. Okay, and y will be equal to zero minus three, and y is equal to negative three. So our first point is x at zero, y at what negative three. This is our first other pair. Okay, that's the location. All right, now let us pick another uh, value for x. Let's say x is equal to two. Let me not go too far. So x will be equal to 2. So y is equal to 4 in parentheses 2. You know, we're focusing on this, this equation, minus 3. So that y is equal to 4 times 2. That's 8, then minus 3. That would give us what 5. All right. So we have here x as 2, y as 5. So we now plot when x is 0, y is negative 3. So we're going to have it here, x at 0, y negative 3. Then when x is 2, y is what? 5. Okay? So it's going to meet here. All right? When x is 2, y is positive 2, y is positive 5. So from here, we draw our line. Okay? So we have, uh, it's not going to match that way. So let me. Let me bring it up so it's from here. Okay. Okay. So this is the graph of our solution to this linear equation. All right. So let's go to the, the, the last one there. All right. So the last one says x minus 3y equal to 6. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And also note, sometimes uh uh your question can give you your value for x okay can say can give you like a table all right put y here give you some values of x maybe they're going to just put it like this so all you need to do is you just in your in your same equation put the value for x as one when you solve write down the value for y put the value for x as negative one when you solve right i think I'm going to do that in the next, I won't forget. I will do something like this in the next video, as I promised. Okay. So, but let's go on to this. So, as I said, now you have to liken your, your Y, this is our equation. Y has to stand alone. And you can see Y has a three here, but Y has to stand alone. So, let's first take X to this side. So, we are going to left it negative three Y equal to six minus X. Taking this X, X is a positive. So taking it here, it becomes a, a negative. Now we have to make y stand alone. So I'm going to divide both sides by three, negative three. Okay. So we have y is equal to six minus x over negative three. So with this now, I will put in my values for x. So let's start with x is equal to zero. Okay. So y will be what? Whatever we see x, we put zero. All right. Over negative three. So this would be y, you know, this is zero. Okay, and you know, zero is taking the negative here, so all this will cancel out. So you are left with six over negative three, and that would give us a negative two. So our first point is uh, x at zero, y at a negative two. Okay, so our next point, let's make uh, x three. Okay, so let's say x is equal to a positive three. So we do y equal to six minus three okay over negative three so y is equal to six minus three that will give us a three right okay because when we open this up it will still be a three so six minus three will give us a three then three divided by negative three we're going to get have a negative one so our second point is x as three y as a negative one all right so let's plot this so when x is zero y is negative two and our next one is when x is a positive 3, y is what? y is a negative 1. So we're going to have the point here. Do you see that? 
okay, and we'll draw, we'll draw our our line. Oh, didn't get that. Well, let's draw. Oh, undo. Let me put this back here. Okay, let me start from here. Let's see if I'm going to get the straight line. Sorry, so sorry. Okay. All right, I think yeah, this is this is okay. This is okay. Okay, so this would be the graph of our uh, equation. Okay, the solution. All right, of this particular linear equation. So this is how you graph equation on your coordinate grid. All right, so I'm gonna do the next video. Please stay tuned. Please do um, subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up, please. You can check our website, dtwgdprep.com, for summary notes, free summary notes, study guides, practice questions. You can also join our Facebook group, okay? And if you need one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you can also contact me. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, is the truth, and is the life. He's the one who's going to, you know, give us strength <laughs> in this battle of life. Is it going to strengthen us? Is going to give us joy? Is going to give us peace? Everything is in Him. Is in Christ Jesus. Even eternal life, heaven at last, life after death is in Christ Jesus. Please come to Him today, and He would give you victory. He would give you peace over every battles in your life, be it financial, marital, whichever. Even maybe your children. All right. He would give you peace. Come to him today. All right? And cast your burden on him. All right? Thank you. And I wish you success in life and also in your GED test. See you in our next video.